All right, come in. Come, one and all, to my masquerade ball. What do you think? It's original, fun, and most importantly, sexy. Original? I go to masquerades like every week. I really thought someone who was applying to Cornell's hospitality program could do a little better than that. What else you got? Um. What are you? <laughs> Under the sea. Your idea? <laughs> Your idea for an under the sea party is to hold your breath? Well, everyone's gonna be holding their breath, Rain. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah. Howdy, partners. Come on down to Cowboy Beckett's Wild Wild West Saloon. Just don't forget to leave your guns at the door. Uh, okay, well, I. Sure. Wild Wild West actually sounds kind of fun. Oh, and the crowd loves it. You know, I feel like an old prospector with this one. I, I really struck gold. I gotta call my tumbleweed guy. And my horse guy. Yes, I am feeling inspired. Get down low and swing your arms? And that's the Quan. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill this one at Beckett's party, but I actually have to go. I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, for sure. You still gotta teach me how to Dougie. That one's a doozy. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love you. You as well. <laughs> you what? What you said. Back at you. <laughs> okay. I love you. All right. <laughs> Seriously? What? Liz, you never say I love you back. It's always you as well or back at you. And even when we're texting, you just send a picture of the Uno reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> that's because that's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe it was the first five times, but honestly, it's getting kind of old. Just wish you would take this a little more seriously. What? Since when? I thought this was a casual yet sensuous romance. <laughs> I mean, it is, but a relationship isn't always whips and nays all the time, Liz. Okay, we both <laughs> know that you haven't taught me that one yet. Well, maybe you need to learn it yourself. What? Like, what? I'm just saying I think you need to figure out what you want. What are you saying? Like, <laughs> time apart? <laughs> yeah. But... But I don't want time apart. I don't either, but I think we need it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Bye, Liz. Bye, Liz. Paper this morning? What? What? Uh, what? What paper? What are you, what are you the Berkeley Beacon. Uh, dude, you're on the cover. What? You're ice skating in an Iceland compilation video, Ice Ice Bjork. It went viral. <laughs> are you serious? Oh my God! Have you have you seen this? It says that that Ernest from our foundations class called me a visionary. Yeah, dude, this is <laughs> huge for us. You're gonna have fans across the blue marble. Next thing you know, you're gonna be winning awards. You know, I have wanted some recognition from somebody other than my parents. You know, an attaboy juice box from Pops was always nice, but I'm thinking of something more golden. A retriever. <laughs> okay, yeah. Start writing your award speech, bud. Do you have an award speech right now? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. This is really, honestly, it's too much. <laughs> I, I, look, I, first I'd like to thank my parents. 
for all of their love and support. And of course, my, my beautiful wife, Rain Marie Goodall McNeely, for, for her unwavering love and, and support. <laughs> Wait, you said your wife was Rain? I, I, I didn't yeah, I, I admire her. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much. I prefer the ju juice box version of you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the season. <laughs> Recording? Me? Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, we need to run. Um, I'm having. Great to meet you. You're not going to see it with me? No. No, yeah. People always confuse me for Chris Hemsworth. Was it predictable? Were you able to tell who the murderer was? Hi. Hello. Hi. Were you able to tell who the murderer was? Hi. Yes, hi. Sorry, people keep breaking this wall today. Hey, I'm here with Chris. Wait, that's... No, Dan. Dan, <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm the personification of the... <laughs> Can we cut? <laughs> Sassy today. Our viewers with a bunch... I think... Tommy Wiseau. Sorry, Haley. Oh my God, look, it's the Hemsworth brothers. That's it. Can you post the show now? Bye. Although our reactions may be a little ridiculous. <laughs> a little bit ridiculous. They're always yeah. real. Real. Dun, 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 dun. We can't use that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit ridiculous and a bit racy. They're always <laughs> real. <laughs> Back in 10 seconds. Ready, camera one. Camera one, you wide shot of the entire thing, and in three, two, one, take. Tell you. Welcome back to Emerson College. Emerson Trails. Camera four, get a shot of the players coming across the court. 10 seconds left. Emerson Trails by one point. As camera two, close on the first two days. Thanks, Joe. With 10 seconds left. Back in 10 seconds. Ready, camera one. Camera one, get a wide shot of the entire thing, and in three, two. Hey, Rain, did you get in a 
Anthony Jacobson is going to be a father in June? Great. He's bringing a child into this world. Cool. Okay. What's wrong? You're not going to like it. It's a zeta, eta, theta theme. Mm, true. But as your friend, I want to listen. Well, I, I ran for treasure today, and I had a great speech. I, I spent a week writing it, and I had a lot of amazing ideas to prove the sorority. Mm. You didn't win. I didn't even get a single vote. I'm sorry, Rain, but look. It's just like, every time I think about it, I get so angry. And not at the people in Theta, but at myself. Right, well, I mean, you shouldn't No, it is. I screw everything up. I ran a fundraiser to save the New England uh, Blue Macaw, and, and they all died a week later. I, I, I campaigned for Beto, and, and they threw me out of Texas. I asked Tom DeRosa to prom, and he joined the army to get away from me. I can't do anything uh, right. I'm just a failure. Okay, okay, well, calm down. You're getting really worked up. Yeah, sorry. I get like this sometimes. You do? How often? I don't know. A lot. A few times a week, I guess. How come you never told me about this? I mean, honestly, I... I was embarrassed. I... I wanted to seem like I always had everything put together, but now that we live together, there's no hiding that I'm a mess. Have you ever thought about getting a therapist? You no. Know, do you think I need one? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I know that. I, I mean, I spend my weekends fighting for the erasure of the stigma around mental illness, but I never considered it for me. Maybe you should. It helps. I guess it couldn't hurt. And many more. Whoa! Ice Ice Bjorsh has hit a million views! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh my god, is it your birthday? Oh, no, no, I'm just practicing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Becca, this is my crew. Uh, here we have Mongoose, the prince, <laughs> Jarrett with two T's. One T, Jarrett, because he only wears this one T. Put respect on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you guys. You're all so big. You want some cake? I'm not, I'm not really uh, hungry. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's happening in Periscope? We're streaming you live from my dorm room. <laughs> the fellows and I just got out of research writing 15 minutes early. It's gonna be Corn Night of the DH, and I'm feeling right at home. Mongoose is gonna lick the Corn Ice Sculpture. I am? Only if you're comfortable with it, bro. Wow, well, thanks for looking out for my feelings. I will lick the Corn Ice Sculpture. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Trustful? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I trust you. you. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's it from us, guys. See you guys next time. Be kind to one another. <laughs> well, it was really nice to meet you guys. Uh, uh, but I got a party in two weeks that I got a plan for, so, you know. Uh, you're all welcome to attend. Oh, cool. Good. Crew, on three. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you, Beckett. Beckett. It was good. A little scary admitting my problems to a stranger, but good scary. Don't worry, you get used to it. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a lot better. Mm. Pleasant, even. Mm. Pleasant rain. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for helping me find her. She's lovely. Yeah, no problem. Now I have a therapy buddy. That you do. <laughs> do you think our therapists know each other? Mm. I think they 100% do. And I think they're best friends. Mm, do you think they're also having lunch right now, talking about us too? They definitely are. <laughs> and Lee Pelton is there. <laughs> and he's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I shared something with Kathy too today, and I wanted to know if I could talk about it with you. Do you mind? Oh, go for it. She thinks I have control issues because of my anxiety. 
which is why I try so hard to control every little aspect of my life, which is also why I tried so hard to control your date with Lex. I'm sorry. I just, I was so happy for you guys, and I really wanted it to go well. You got it. Yeah, no, I know you meant well. I was really just scared to confront that I might have real feelings for Lex, and if I address that with a well-planned date, then I might be at risk of getting hurt if I lost her, but... <laughs> Look how that happened. <laughs> Sorry, I just had an appointment with Stephen like three days ago and he encouraged me to open up to you more often. Well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> All right, well back to you. Let's address the shirtless Lee Pelton thing. <laughs> Where do I even begin? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just come through whenever. I'm excited to meet you, Mr. Phoenix. Sorry, Jimmy. My room number? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, hold on. Rain, you can't have liquor out in front of Mr. Your Phoenix. I'm gonna get prematurely expelled. Of course, my sincerest apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I saying? I feel like a goob in this poncho. Come on, we're here for Beckett. Periscope, we just got back from health and wellness, and Mongoose left a few layers of her tongue. on the ice. Guys, guys, the admissions rep is gonna be here in five minutes, okay? I need you all on your best party behavior. Uh, the other guests are arriving shortly. Who else do you invite? Oh, hey, Charlie. Lex, come here, come here. I want you to meet my chaplains. That's what I call my viewers. <laughs> Beckett, why is she here? <laughs> I don't have a lot of contacts in my phone, okay? And I need to make it look like I have more friends than I actually do. Oh, oh, okay, he's here. Hey, stop, stop, he's here. Everyone stop having fun. And pretend like we're having fun, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phoenix, it is an honor, sir. Please, call me Jimmy. Mr. Phoenix is my turtle. <laughs> so when's the audition party happening? Uh, well, well, this is it. Uh, this is my wild, wild west party. Looks like a Tuesday night to me. Uh, uh, would you care for a mocktail? Uh, my specialty is a virgin cherry Manhattan. Uh, <laughs> Manhattan the house! <laughs> Epic. Uh, have you noticed the streamers? You mean them? No, no, not them. Uh, my, my decor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, do, do, do you like music? I can play you something, but it can't be too loud. Um, how about the kids' bop version of New Jack Hustle? Mm. No, no, wait. Venga Bus by the Venga Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure, yeah. Um, M, play Venga Bus? Let's get this party started. Who's ready to have some fun? Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I meant y equals negative m lex plus b because our relationship is on a downward slope and I don't know why you're being such a b. <laughs> you know what, Liz? You're actually a lot like my pet lizard because you are so cold-blooded, but at least I know that my lizard loves me. How would you know that? Because I can see it in his eyes. Then why can't you see it in mine? Say what? That I love you! I love you too. What's up with the rear purse? Oh, my backpack, yeah. I got a surprise for you. What is it? Just taste it. Oh my god, homebrewed moonshine? I filled it with my homebrewed moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> so, good? Yeah, we're good. What up, Periscope? We're coming to you live from the nicest party of the year. Come on through to Piano Row Rooms. 
Uh, we're, we're... You know what, on second thought, can you, can you just sign up for me? Thanks, man. Uh, hey, buddy. What's, uh, what's going on, man? You okay? Jimmy Phoenix doesn't like my party. What? <laughs> no, look how much fun he's having. did magic. It just sucks. I don't belong at Emerson. And now hospitality school doesn't even want me. I just don't belong anywhere. <laughs> you are exactly where you need to be. You may seem lost in this world, but this is your suite. Pleasant Rain's right, I think. Look, just because you don't feel like you belong here at Emerson, that doesn't mean it was a complete waste of time. Right, in the time that I've known you, you've gone from being this pretentious, arrogant movie buff to being an incredibly sensitive and beautiful young man. <laughs> when we first met, I hated you. <laughs> Like, I really hated you. But now, you're my best friend. Hey guys, I hate to break whatever this is up, but um, there are so many people here. <laughs> my party is It's popping! I love it. I guess. Whoa. Beckett, I was wrong about you. This party has every element of a sexy fiesta. <laughs> a, a, a fight, a makeup, smooching, a periscope celebrity, and a crying boy. <laughs> All it's missing is a well choreographed dance number. Did someone say dance number? Uh, <laughs> yes. Hit it, boys. risen from the ashes like a phoenix. A Jimmy Phoenix. <laughs> Back in 10 seconds. Ready, camera one. Camera one, get a wide shot of the entire thing, and in three, two, one, take. Talent cue. Welcome back to Emerson College. Emerson trails. Camera four, get a shot of the players coming across the court. 10 seconds left. Emerson trails by one point. As camera two, close on the first two days. Thanks, Joe. With 10 seconds left.
arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Bill. Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Casey, and we're the National Broadcasting Society. Come out to some of our weekly workshops, or work on some of our sets. Explore the bigger picture with NBS. We'll see you there. All right, let's get another take. Camera, sound. Hi, I'm Mary Malloy, the host of Speechless, and you're watching The Emerson Channel. You're going to be a perfect fit at Cornell Hospitality School. Much like a queen-size fitted sheet on a queen-size bed. A perfect fit. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Well, I'm a Cornell man now. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Like a million board bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, I've got to go, guys. Um, I'll see you for brunch tomorrow. For sure. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, too. Love you, too. <laughs> hey, let me and the crew walk back with you. These streets aren't safe. Well, if you need the protection, I guess I'll try. The prince is scared. <laughs> well, looks like it's just the original four. Yeah, soon to be three. <laughs> Charlie, what's wrong? It's, it's just... It's gonna be so far. It's gonna be so far away. Hey, hey. I'm gonna need you to be my strong eucalyptus branch now, okay? I don't know if I can. You don't have to know. Because I know you can. Plus, you have your crew, at, and they're so nice. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and it's not like Liz and I are leaving anytime soon. Well, assuming we don't drift apart. <laughs> I'm kidding! <laughs> I think I'm gonna remember you most fondly, Liz. Really? More than rain? <laughs> hey, that was the best almost kiss I've ever had. And I've had my fair share. Okay, I get it. I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you gotta keep us updated, by the way, when you go to Cornell. Not, not just about the sex, though, that is important. Yeah. <laughs> we can be pen pals! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handwritten letters are very sexy. Hey, guys, I'm getting some grumbles. Do you want to go get food? Yeah, yeah. I'm starving. Sure. I'll go grab my emergency forks. I already got mine. Oh. That's rude. Was it this whole time? Ah. Huh. Huh. Well, I guess this is it, buddy. I'm really proud of you. You deserve this. Thanks, man. Actually, before I'm gone forever. Here, for your next viral video. The Red Dragon? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna get much use at hospitality school, so. Oh my god, <laughs> thank you. I... Wait, no, that's really expensive. <laughs> oh. oh, look, I, I don't have any gifts for you, um, but I do have knowledge for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, Beckett, my two party planners love each other very much. Oh, dude, that's gross. Come on. Oh, wait, hang on. I didn't get to the best part yet. <laughs> 